What's up guys, it's Stiff Leg. Today, we are gonna be doing a workout program explanation. Um, this is my first one that I'm gonna be doing. Appreciate any feedback in the comments. Um, we're gonna be talking about starting strength. It's gonna be by Mark Ripito, probably made before I was ever working out. But, um, this is a beginner program. Um, it's for somebody that's probably never even touched a barbell before. Um, this is definitely uh, based on a strength program. Um, for any want to be power lifters, anyone just wanting to get strong, that sort of thing. Uh, it's based around primarily squat, bench, overhead press, and deadlifts. So here's how it works. You're going to run this three times a week, and you have an A and B workout. So, for example, Monday is going to be squats, three sets of five. Bench, three sets of five and deadlift one set of five. So, three sets of five and one set of five. Why are we doing it this way? Three sets of five is going to be a total of 15 reps for squat, 15 set reps for bench, and five reps for deadlift. The reason is because you're just now getting started and everything, you need sets that have a low enough number to where you can focus and take your time on each individual rep you're trying to work on your form. Hey guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Feel free to like and subscribe. But it's not so low that you're buckling under extremely heavy weight. And then for deadlifts, the reason that's only going to be one set of five is mainly due to the excess fatigue that deadlifts tend to generate. So we come over here to our B workout. We're gonna ski, again, squats, three sets of five. Now, instead of bench press, we're gonna be doing three sets of five on overhead press. This can be a little bit different. It's gonna be standing. You could do it standing or seated. I'd recommend standing to start out with. Um, and then lastly, you're gonna finish off with another set of five on a deadlift. So, since this is a beginning program, most of you guys are going to be starting out with very little weight. Some of you, just the bar. For some of you on overhead press, you not, might not be able to bench press the bar. Um, so, where's the magic at in this exercise? It's very, very simple. This is going to be a linear progression, which means every time you step in that gym, you get underneath the barbell to squat, you get underneath the barbell to bench press, or you pick up the barbell to deadlift. You add five pounds every single time. So, let's say, first time you go into the gym on squat, you only squat the bar. That's 45 pounds, okay. You do three sets of five. Then you do that on Monday. Now Wednesday, you come back in, and you're going to squat the bar with 2.5s on each side. Friday, you're gonna come in with five pounds on each side. You're adding two point, you're having five pounds every single time you get underneath that barbell to squat, every single day. You'll know that you've grown out of this program whenever you start failing sets. Um, unfortunately, we can't just keep adding weight, otherwise we'd have a bunch of 1,000 pound squatters out here. Eventually, you cannot do this any longer. So, um, I know for me, I grew out of it about over a month, two months. For some people, it'll only be a month. Uh, for some people, it might be three months. For those that have almost no experience with any kind of physical activity, they're gonna be able to run a lot longer. Uh, people that are just naturally strong, you might not be able to run it as long. It just depends. So this is a three-day split though. You need to run it, run it Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. Doesn't matter how many days, how you do it, but three days in a week, and you need to separate them. That gives you time to recover. For some of you, I know that I said just add five pounds. For some of you, you can do more than that. Um, I know whenever I was first doing this, for a deadlift, for example, I was adding 20, 30 pounds every single time I got there because I was just naturally built for deadlifting. Um, for some of you, your overhead press you might not be able to add any weight while your deadlift and your squats and your bench press just keeps on going up, and that's okay. This is gonna be the lift that stops first for most people. 
For some people, it could be bench. Just depends, honestly, on how you're built. Um, obviously, you know, deadlifting and squatting is going to incorporate much bigger muscles than your bench press and overhead press. And for that reason, usually these lifts can be progressed a lot longer than your overhead press and your bench press. The problem lies in recovering. Deadlifting is extremely taxing. I know that for you know most experienced lifters, they can only deadlift once a week to recover from it. Um, this has got you deadlifting three times a week. You're gonna grow out of this to where you will not be able to do this program any longer. And that's okay. That's a good thing that you're able to do more weight. So how do you know that you're doing this program right? Well, if everything goes according to plan, every single time you walk into the gym, you're adding five pounds on the weight. Um, in a month, that could be 30 pounds added to your squat. It could be 30 pounds added to your bench, 30 pounds added to your deadlift. could be more than that. Eventually, you'll get to a point where you're not progressing on any of these lifts. That's when you know it's time to stop and move on to a more advanced program. Um, you might be out of the novice phase entirely. You might be going into intermediate. So. There are some pros, there are some cons to this. The pro is how simple this is. For a lot of people that are brand new to working out, they do not want a ton of different exercises, they get all confused with numbers and everything, this is literally as simple as it gets. Um, you're just adding five pounds every single time you walk in the gym. No matter what, no matter if you don't feel like it, no matter if you do feel like it, you're just adding five pounds. Cons, if you look here, we have squats, bench, deadlift, squats, overhead press, and deadlifts. So some things are being left out. Your biceps, your back is not going to get a ton of work. Um, for some people, this can lead to their chest being very grown and their triceps lagging behind. Obviously, you know, you're not working out your calves. This is very bare bones, but you're just starting out. So that's okay. Um, I know Mark Ripto was originally completely against throwing in any kind of excess work. After you finish your three lifts, me personally, I would throw in some biceps just a little bit. I don't think it affected my recovery at all. Um, but that can be up to you. Make sure you guys like and subscribe for more content.